Hey guys, welcome, welcome. Uh, so this video, we're gonna show you how to claim unclaimed listings. So this is primarily aimed at people who are putting listings up as um, suggested places in maps or dropping pins as we colloquially refer to it. Um, what they will have noticed recently is that you cannot add the phone number. Okay, that phone number is a no-go. Uh, typically, unless perhaps you've got a very authoritative account, but that's not a scalable thing. Um, so let's just go through some of these. We can see here there's a lot of spam listings or what appear to be, well, yeah, they pretty much are spam listings. Uh, let's pick one here that doesn't, here's one that doesn't have a phone number on it, okay? So this is, it doesn't have a website either. So we can be reasonably, um, well, that's kind of weird. This one looks as if it actually is claimed. So that's kind of bizarre, but let's, so let's move down. Um, Let's go with this one. Okay, so here's one where it says we can claim the business. Now, not all of these unclaimed ones are gonna say claim this business, okay? Um, having used um, Lloyd's GMB Hunter software extensively, I've realized that a lot of what are claimable uh, don't actually have this uh, tag on them. Um, so you're missing an awful lot if you're doing it this way. Now, what I'm gonna show you probably already occurred to you that you can claim listings which are not yours. Uh, look, at the end of the day, I'm just gonna show you the process. How you want to use it is entirely up to you, whatever your ethics are uh, and etc. etc. okay? But this, is, th this was born out of the idea of actually putting pins up and then going back and claiming them. That's the, that's the reason for this method. Uh, but of course, it can be applied in any way that you want to apply it okay and you can let your imagination run wild as well with this okay so the first thing that we're going to do if we wanted to claim this particular listing for example and I'm not going to go through the whole process because I don't really want to do it um, but I'm going to show you how it's done right so the first of all we're going to go over to a Google account and we're going to add the business listing okay so we're going to put the exact name so if we've created a pin with that name that's the name that we're going to put in there exactly all right and then we're going to put the exact category that we've used to get the listing up okay and we're going to click next we're going to put no oh, sorry we're going to put yes here all right and so we want an address here so this is in the US Right, so I am going to just pull a random address here, right? So let's, um, we're just gonna, let's pull that one in Florida. Okay, so let's say that this is the address where I can receive a postcard. All right, this is it here. Okay, so that's all I, all I need at this stage is that address for um, being able to get a postcard then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put an interrupter in here right so I might put ground floor now you'd have to vary this every time because otherwise the, if there's a pattern to it Google will actually recognize this okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to click next okay that doesn't match and you'll see that Google because they can't make sense of the address because they put that interrupter in there they're gonna offer me up the pins for me to show them where the address is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drag this pin from, all the way from Florida to Boston. Um, so we wanna zoom in a bit here. All right, so this is where it gets a little bit um, slightly cumbersome because we've got to manually uh, locate the pin, okay? <clears throat> so what we do here, we're going to have a look at the address here, okay? I'm gonna copy that address and we'll come over here. That's one that I was looking at earlier on. Let's put that address in there, go to maps. Okay, so it's 150 Eastern Avenue. Mm. 
Okay, so we know we're, we're, that we're in this sort of quadrant over here. So what I'm going to do is go back to my Google business. And we know it's over here somewhere. So I'm just going to pause the video while I actually locate that exactly. Okay, so this is a slightly tricky one because we haven't got the outline of an actual building here, uh, but we should be close enough. So uh, if we look at the actual map here, we can see that we're just above and to the left of this Radius International. So if I come down to my map, um, probably you want to be just up there a little bit. Okay, and that's pretty much where we are. So we're going to click next. All right. We're going to go no to that. Okay, and we're going to click next. Right now, what I want to do here before I order the card, I'm actually not going to order the card because I don't want a postcard going to that random address, but this is how you would do it. Uh, I'm going to go back to info and just check that everything's looking good on my map. Okay, so all good. So my pin is exactly where I want it to be. Okay, which is in the location where the duplicate listing, the unclaimed listing is. So I've just created another listing with the identical name. Okay, I've got a, set, a different address to receive my card to, but the pin I've moved to the actual address of the first listing. So if I, let's say I put a, a, um, a suggested business up on Google they've created a pin for me but it doesn't have a phone number it won't let me put the phone number in so I've gone in now and I've created a second listing okay I'm having the postcard sent to an address that I control and then I'm dragging the pin to the location of the first listing okay and this listing that we're putting up will be in the exact same name with the exact same category okay so that all looks good so I can come out of there now what's going to happen when I actually order my postcard, okay, the postcard's going to be on its way. What will happen to this listing usually after, sometimes it can happen within an hour or two, sometimes it takes days. But what happens is Google will identify that it's a duplicate, okay, and they will merge the listings together. All right, and so what happens is you will often find some of this will turn orange. Uh, the phone number obviously won't because there won't be a phone number in there but if you've added hours when you put your pin up this may turn orange and it will populate the hours uh, if you've added a website this may have the website in there in orange and it populates um, and there may be one or two other it depends what you what's on the listing um, but it may auto populate here and, th and then you've got an absolute uh, hundred percent guarantee um, that this listing is the one that you're uh, looking um, this this is the the, the actual listing um, that you're trying to take over um, now even if that doesn't happen typically it, it's Google still understands it's the same listing they just haven't got to actually pre-populate in these these things so it still works it's just that this is a heads up that they've already done it uh, okay so what happens then when you receive your verification code You'll come in here and you will verify the listing. Okay. And then once the listing is verified, uh, you will come back into the address field and then you will grab the, oops, you will grab the address, this address. Oh, it's the address of the original listing. Have we still got that there? Yes. Okay. So you would be grabbing this address okay and you would be populating your listing here with that address okay so you, re you would be removing all of this uh, address here that, which is the one where you receive the card and you would be putting the actual address of the listing in here okay and then you click apply now many of you might be thinking oh no if I do that the listing is going to suspend um, it, it shouldn't suspend there should be no problems for two reasons one is that there's already a, a, a listing created that's up there uh, and Google understands that that address is the correct one uh, and also 
um, we've also got the issue that this pin will not move because this pin is actually at the address that we're changing this to the pin won't move okay this pin moving is the key thing which will get your uh, listing either re-verified or suspended okay so as long as it does not move you're all good to go at that point you've now got a listing which uh, reflects the correct address which you can clear if you want to after you've changed it you can clear the address to make it an sab uh, or you can keep the address in there whatever you want to do you've now got control of the listing and you can edit you can add your phone number you can change the uh, website if you wish uh, i certainly wouldn't muck around with the name or the um uh, the uh, category okay don't mess with those things because then you probably are going to get the listing suspended but as long as you don't do that uh, you'll find that you're able to take control of that listing and you're able to edit the information on it